So you can scoot forward on your chair so that your feet are flat and your back is upright rather than leaning back. And either rest your hands in your lap or down by your sides. And we'll take a few moments with eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And you can begin to slow down your breath. Inhaling until you're full, and exhaling until you're empty. And just notice the movement created by your breathing. Expanding and releasing of the lungs and rib cage. This is something you can come back to. If you notice that your mind has wandered onto something else or you're checked out or overthinking, just as soon as you notice, come back and feel that you are breathing. And you might use the movement of your breath to explore the pose you're in. As you inhale, there's a natural expanding quality. You can use that to sit a little taller, to look for or feel a little more spaciousness. And each time you exhale, there's a natural releasing quality. Could be like an invitation to let go. What is there to release? You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus. And feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you throughout your practice. So let's begin with a gentle twist. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and your right hand somewhere on the chair behind you, wherever you can comfortably reach. As you inhale, sit tall. As you exhale, rotate more, looking back over your shoulder. And then breath by breath, see is there a little bit more length as you inhale, a little bit more twist as you exhale. Keep going in this direction, but turn your head the opposite way, looking over your other shoulder now, like you're wringing out your spine. And then release and switch. Starting gently, inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate. A little more length, a little deeper twist. Keep going in this direction, turn your head the opposite way, ringing out. back around to the front. Let's interlace fingers in front and put some pressure between your arms like you're gonna pull them apart and that can help spread between the shoulder blades getting into the upper back and as you inhale feel the rib cage expanding maybe a little stretch in the intercostal muscles the little muscles between your ribs. And then release and interlace fingers behind your back, maybe the other thumb on top. Open up the chest, reach the knuckles back. And then release. Let's take arms out to the side 
and then flex the palms. Pull your fingers up towards the ceiling, push out through the base of your hand. Reach out a little bit more through the base of your hand and then curl from fingertips down and in as if you're trying to touch your forearm. Flex again, fingers up and down. And then keep reaching out and circle your wrists, a couple big circles, flexing and stretching all the little muscles of your forearms, go in both directions. And then release arms down. Let's take the right arm up and over for a side bend. Try and keep both sit bones grounded as you reach out like a big yawn. And then circle your right arm back behind you as far back as you can, making the biggest circle possible for your shoulder joint. And just see what you notice as you do this. Stretches through your side body, shoulder, chest, neck, just whatever you're feeling. Finish up the circle you're on, come back to your side stretch, and then let your head fall towards the floor and take the top arm out and down until you're pulling down through the right shoulder, stretching right side of the neck. So head is falling one way. Shoulder pulling the other way. And then rotate your chin to your chest and roll it back up. Let's take the left arm up and over now. Big yawning reach. And then circle your left arm back behind you as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on. Come back to your side bend. Let your head fall towards the floor and then take your left arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down, stretching left side of the neck. Hmm. Rotate your chin to your chest and bring it all the way over to the first side and then we'll take a few half circles side to side. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head and then let your arms hang down so the weight of the arms is resting on the back of the head, lengthening the back of the neck. Mm. And then drop the arms, head floats back up. Let's take the right arm up in the air, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow, and then take your elbow as far back as you can. So you're stretching the upper arm. And you might move around a little bit, just exploring. What do you notice here? What are you feeling? right arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, and then hug it in as close as you can. As you do this, draw back through your right shoulder so you're still square across your chest, still sitting just as tall.
and then release, arm out. Rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back, so back of your hand is at your waist. Interlace fingers at your waist. Pull your knuckles around towards the front, just as much as they will. Elbows go towards one another, as if they're gonna touch, they probably won't. And then circle your right shoulder. This may be creaky, tight, awkward. That's just what we came looking for. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest, and you're welcome to stay upright or fold forward. And folding might be just dropping your head or it could be coming part way or all the way over your lap. You might reach arms up and away from your back. And then release, come up. <sighs> Take a few big shoulder circles. Shoulders up and back and down. And then take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and bring it back. And you can feel around here. And then release, left arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close. How much can you notice? There's what's obvious and then what subtlety are you aware of? Release, arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, the way you don't normally cross. Knuckles towards the front, elbows towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Just inviting movement in a place that may be quite tight. You don't have to have more mobility than you have, but explore what you do have. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back. Open up the chest, take it as high as you can. You can stay here or fold over your legs. Release, come up. And a few big shoulder circles up and back and down. Good. Let's cross the right ankle above the left knee, getting into a right outer hip stretch. So sit as tall as you can, drop the right knee as much as you're able, lengthen and go towards folding. And you fold as much as you can. You might lean into your hands, you could lean into your elbows. If your back is rounded, it's fine. Just go towards length, towards folding. It doesn't have to be rigidly flat, but keep going in that direction. And then release, come up, straighten the right leg out, flex and point your foot a few times. And you can have this as high or low as you need. 
circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Try and sit tall as you do. And then release that side. Same thing other side. Cross your left ankle above the right knee, sit tall, lengthen and fold. Hmm. And you keep relaxing your face even while you're feeling this, whatever this is. Let's lengthen back up to sitting, extend left leg forward, flex and point. Circle a couple times both directions. And then let's go ahead and stand up and come behind the chair. So you can use your hands to support yourself on the back of the chair. Have your feet about hip width apart, and we're going to very slowly lift the heels and lower them. Keep, see if you can do this as smoothly as possible, so it's slow and controlled rather than jerky. You might challenge yourself by taking your hands off your chair or just very lightly touching, like playing hot potato. If you want to make this a little more challenging, you can lift one leg at a time, so just lifting on one foot. Slowly lower down, switch to the other leg. And big challenge, try and do that barely touching the chair. And while you're concentrating on this, can you relax your face? Can your breath be steady? Let's take two more on both feet or one more if you're switching feet. One more each side. Good. Let's come back to both feet and we'll take a balance tree pose. So take your right foot to the inside of your left leg. Could be the inside of your lower leg or your upper leg as high as you can, as low as you need and push your foot into your inner leg. Have it anywhere above or below the knee. The chair is there for you. If you don't need the chair, you could bring arms out to the side or hands to prayer position or arms up and you can always change your mind or go back to holding the chair if you need it. Standing as tall as possible. Feel the top of your head lengthening up to the sky. And then switch sides, shake that out, get steady on two feet, feel both feet grounded, <sighs> and then move over to the other side. As high as you can, as low as you need, and then choose your arm position. You can change your mind at any time. How much can you feel here? Can you feel the supporting foot grounded into the floor? Can you feel your spine nice and long, all the way through the back of the neck, long? Can you relax your jaw, relax your eyes? And then release, shake that out. So let's bring the hands to either the top of the chair or the seat of the chair and step back.
coming into something like downward facing dog using the chair. So feet hip width apart, feet right under the hips. Again, hands can be up or down. Shoulder width apart. Lengthen your hips away from your hands. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Flex your sit bones up towards the ceiling. And then let's bring the upper body back up. And we're going to go ahead and sit back down on the chair, this time all the way back. So you can scoot back so your back is at the, at leaning into support. And come into a relaxed position. Hands can be in your lap or down by your sides. And we'll just take a body scan to release a few moments of stillness here. So starting at your head and relaxing your face. Your neck and shoulders. Feeling your arms rest into the support beneath them. Feel all the places where your body touches the chair, settling, releasing back. And relax your belly, your hands. Letting go of the control of your breath. A few moments of not doing anything. You can begin to move your fingers and toes. There's very little movement and letting that increase through your wrists and ankles. And take a stretching yawn through your arms, maybe even through your legs, like you just woke up from a good nap, fully refreshed, revitalized. Mm. And scoot forward on your chair again, sitting nice and tall. We'll bring hands together at the heart.
Namaste. Thank you for joining me for chair yoga.